it is raining in our little um, trash can and barrel is full. Oh, it's so pretty out here. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Why it's glowing. Anyway, here we go. Water is filling up in our trash can for our garden. This is what we water our plants with. I guess I can go ahead and cover this. Sit down Jazz is gonna come out and sit with me. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, come sit in the rain, baby. Come sit with us. So There's no skeeters out here. <laughs> Look, there they are. No skeeters. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, no skeeters. Yeah, they are not out here. No skeeters. It is so pretty. Plants are getting watered pretty good. I shouldn't have to water everything for another two days. Uh -huh. Now it's starting to calm down a bit. Uh -huh. Look at my Jazzy enjoying herself. <laughs> oh, the rain is still splashing over here from that um, trash can over there. We're going to have to get us a couple more of those trash cans so we can um, fill them up. Since it just rains, look at all that rain from our gutter just fall right into it. Uh-huh. Goodness. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Just checking on everything. Let's see what's on. Get some of this oak for you guys. Ooh, get away, moth. Oh, I don't like those things. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Let's hurry up and cut some of this. Okay, so this is what I harvested today from the garden. We have some fresh okra. And this was the biggest one uh, today that I got. Um, seemed like it grew even bigger overnight. I just washed everything and... Uh, it is pretty much ready. I'm going to go ahead and put it all in the fridge uh, for when we get ready to make our salads. And uh, we're going to have a big salad today. This is going to be one of our little toppings for our salad, along with some parsley and some fresh basil, um, possibly for a pizza um, or spaghetti. I'm not sure what we're going to do uh, for another side, but definitely a big salad. So yeah there's my lunch for today i have a broccoli roasted broccoli with some french fried onions <clears throat> on a gluten-free bagel and with a little bit of ketchup seasoned with garlic and herbs there you go things huh yeah and then I gotta go through and 
take notes of what we do have and what we don't have. Yeah. And I like how I put all the, try to put all the beans at the top. And over here. All right, we are, good morning, I must say first. It is Monday morning. We're getting ready to go. Uh, I'm taking the girls to Ross. You guys about ready? Last night. Uh-huh. My frozen water. It's like asparagus for breakfast. It's frozen. Huh? When I get home, asparagus. You gotta make your, oh, you love that asparagus, it's huh? It's so good. Oh, yeah. Hand check in actually and show you guys what I'm doing today I'm getting ready to dry some herbs and I just went to the garden and let me show you guys this big pile of deliciousness smells so so good um, I'm gonna be drying some herbs today for uses uses like you know making teas um, putting in some of the foods that I'm cooking up you know plant-based meals um, if you want to know what I have here just stay tuned all right, so I have some parsley, some basil, some sage, some spearmint, some Mexican tarragon, some, um, what is this, lemon balm, uh, gosh, yeah, lemon balm from what I remember, and what else do I have in here? I'm sure I got something else in here, some oregano, and... Oh Lord, <laughs> that scared me, gosh. Um, so anyway, I'm getting ready to wash all this stuff. I got some um, rosemary, which is one of my ultimate favorite herbs. Um, and also, I love the Mexican tarragon because it tastes like um, licorice, which is one of my favorite candies, the black licorice. Um, it actually tastes a lot like it, so I'm gonna be making some teas with this. I got lots of mint. Let me show you the mint smells absolutely wonderful so I'm getting ready to wash all this stuff off like I was saying I'm gonna dry it the only thing I'm missing is some containers but um, we shall see what I can do um, <laughs> to make this work and let's see I'm just gonna tell oh you know what I, I forgot to get I have some uh, lemon balm so I have lemon balm golden lemon thyme that's what that one is that I have. I always get those mixed up. So here we go. Some lemon balm. I only have a little bit of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut some off. I'm gonna use that. See if I can get us a little bit more. go all right so I got plenty of good medicinal uses for stuff I'm definitely gonna be um, incorporating some of this in my diet so I will be right back so here is my handy dandy tool that I'm gonna be using my coffee grinder to grind these herbs up once I dry them so I'm not gonna take down my dehydrator which is back there no it's under no I put it under the bed I forgot I used to keep it up there but it just takes up a lot of room so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna use another method and um, once I figure out what that other method is whether it's uh, microwave or dehydrator or the oven um, I know it's gonna lose some of the properties but it's not gonna totally lose everything so that's a chance that I'm taking but in the meantime I am excited about trying this out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this stuff up use a colander to do that with it so that way I won't um, you know it'll be easier much easier for me to do this whole process and hopefully I didn't bring in too many bugs because I'm sure that there are some bugs hiding up in here somewhere so I'll be right back guys I am back and I wanted to show you guys let me show you the 
herbs that I have dried. And I'll maybe I'll sh I'll share with you guys some of the benefits of these herbs. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Here we go. And let me see if I can get a picture of this. And right now I'm just boiling up some uh, a mixture of all the herbs that I collected. And it's just going to give the house a nice fragrant smell of nature. And so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to let this come to a boil. And once it boils up, I'm just going to let it simmer and smell through the house. And I'm going to let you guys know how things... Oh, hold on. Let me ask my husband. Hey, babe. What do you think about the smell in the house so far? It smells great. Okay. It smells great. What does it smell like? <laughs> ah, it smells like an herbal medicine store. <laughs> an herbal medicine store? And did you like the uh, Mexican tarragon? When I taste it like licorice? Mm hmm No. Uh, I think I'm the only one that loves it. Like, Ken don't like it, but I think I'm the only one that really, really, really loves it. So, anyway, guys, I'm so excited because I have dried all these herbs. This is sage. This is basil leaves. Um, rosemary. Uh, let's see, what was this one? Hmm, I'll come back to that one because I always get this one mixed up. This is parsley. This is the Mexican tarragon right here. And I just left the stems on and everything. And I'm going to pull it off. And this is the Thai, no, what did you call this? Bomb, lemon, ugh, can't even talk. This is the lemon balm, which I didn't get very much because I didn't have a whole lot to, to harvest. And then we have, uh, gosh, what is this little tiny stuff? I'll have to come back to this one. I can never remember what this one is called. But anyway, I got lots of different herbs. I got lots of spearmint. This is the spearmint right here. So great for making teas and the sage right here. You know, what I'm going to do next is just put everything in a container together. Um... I might separate it, but I was thinking about just drying everything, not drying everything, but pulsing everything and making a concoction of where I could just use everything for a tea. And all I have to do is just, you know, that way I can make one tea with a little bit of everything. Yeah, so I'm super excited about it. And I will let you guys know how things turn out. Um, the only thing I, I want to start doing... I usually was I was keeping these bottles and I got to the point where I just started throwing them away because that was the plan was to take all of these herbs dry them and then put them in these containers but I ended up throwing them away so once I finish these I'm gonna dry them and then that's the way all I have to do is just um, take everything and put it inside of those use it for my recipes whether you know I'm sauteing something or you know add it to uh, potatoes or you know whatever I'm cooking I can add all of this stuff to it so I'm really excited time for my dinner guys uh, let me show you guys what I made up for myself and it looks so good and here we are I got some artichokes and some turnip stems Okay. Let's put that on the plate without making a mess, hopefully. There we go. Let's see if I can get this one out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. This is my dinner. And also, guys, I made myself some clove tea. I know it doesn't look very good, but anyway, it's very, very healthy, good for you. So let's try the food. Okay. okay try the artichoke. No extra salt. These did come out of the can. That's the only thing that, um, you know, it's not great, but, you know, they're still good for you. So, I didn't add any extra salt. I did season these with some uh, dried rosemary and a little bit of uh, dried basil. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Very, very, very tasty. Mmm. Hot. So, I didn't get a um, piece of the uh, basil yet. So let's try. Well, first let's try the the um, turnip stems that I refused to throw away some days ago when I cooked these up. Actually, we made these for uh, had these in our salad. I used the turnip tops, the leaves for the salad, and now I'm going to use those stems for a side dish. Mm. Tastes just like tastes just like turnips. I added a little bit of olive oil, like a couple of pinches of that, to lightly uh, saute because I didn't want to add too much oil. Because I'm now trying to watch my sodium and my oil. Well, my oil. I've been watching my sodium, but yeah, these are pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food and try to finish my tea. This is my first time making it. It's got a lot of good health benefits. And yeah, so I will come back a little bit later.